being the OA, being able to uh, you know pick your spot on the bus at least compared to when you were uh, uh, younger a few years ago? Yeah, I I remember Sally wasn't at the camp yet, and I, I had my spot picked out. The it was actually Faz's spot last year. I really wanted that spot, and then uh, Sal actually came and took it took it from me because he had more rank or whatever than me. So. And then Sal got traded, so I took it, kind of took it back. <laughs> so what is, you know, it's kind of a little inside baseball thing, but I know it goes by age and by obviously, you know, for example, the rookie, especially a 16-year-old rookie would sort of have the least rank. Yeah. How do we sort out, for example, overagers when you have two and three overagers, how do we sort out rank among them? It's usually, so it's usually how many years you've played in the league. So, uh, yeah, so Sal would have had five. I would have had, actually, if we're being realistic. He had the full five. He had yeah, the full five. I had three. Uh, Mitch had the <laughs> 30, so he's, yeah. he's the least wreck away, and then you just go down the down the slot there. So it's your time, it's time in the league. Yeah, not, nothing to do with points or, no, no. or status or anything. Sometimes being an NHL draft pick helps. Some guys pull that card or whatever.